All rise. He's Jamal Spencer. And he's Mark Skoll Jr. Sports Court is in session. Welcome to another edition of Sports Court. And it's the all-star break. So naturally, we're talking baseball. And we're wondering, is a combined no-hitter a special feat? And I got to be honest, you're absolutely right it is. There have only been 20, 20 combined no-hitters in the history of Major League Baseball. We're talking about going back over 130, 150 years of baseball. The Tigers just had their first in franchise history. They're one of the oldest franchises in the game. It's absolutely a special accomplishment when you think about the fact that there have been 20 combined no-hitters and only 24 official perfect games. It's even rarer than a perfect game. How can you not love a combined no-hitter? Jamal, it is absolutely not a special feat at all. I don't even know how this is even a debate. Uh, I can guarantee you a Mark Skold Jr. guarantee you will not remember the three pitchers who pitched on Sunday for the combined no-hitter. There's no possible way. I was asking you before we started this if you remember that the Astros threw a combined no-hitter in the World Series last year and you didn't remember that. I didn't remember it either. It's not a special feat at all. I think you remember some of these things. You remember the fact that Matt Manning was coming off of an injury. He stepped in and had his best outing as a pro, best outing as a Detroit Tiger. Alex Lang, the guy I thought should have been the all-star player for the Tigers this year, comes in, closes the door, steps up with the pressure. Jason Foley, that other guy that you thought people wouldn't be able to name, he got, I think, four outs in this combined no-hitter. So ultimately, you do remember that. But the reason it becomes special is this Tigers team hasn't given you a lot to smile about lately. And I'm not talking about this year. I'm talking about mm, the last eight years. It's been a rough go for the Tigers. So you go back and you look at Miguel Cabrera's 500th career home run. You look at this combined no-hitter, those are the things that you're going to hold on to before the team can ultimately become a playoff contender. Do you know when a no-hitter is special, Jamal? When it's one guy doing it the entire game. Spencer Turnbull's no-hitter a few years ago against the Mariners, unbelievable. It's because he was at his best from the start of the game to the end of the game. When these relievers are coming in, they're already at their best facing these hitters when they aren't at their best. The hitters haven't seen the pitcher yet, but the fact that they have seen the guy three times in a game, it just makes it all the more special if it's just one guy getting it done as opposed to at least two or three. Mark, that Spencer Turnbull no hitter happened in Seattle. That game didn't start until 10 o'clock Eastern time. I bet you if you polled most Tigers fans and asked who had the last solo no hitter, they'd still guess Justin Verlander because everyone oh, forgot about on. that West Coast no no. no. I'm telling no. you, man, the combined no hitter is special. How do you rule jury at home? Tell us on the Facebook post for this video. And we look forward to seeing you again next week. Sports Court is adjourned.